triple, 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 triple. Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, if you're not new here, it's Dami, also known as Triple O. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my space, to where I create all things about design, travel, and fashion. So today is a fashion video and I'm gonna be speaking through, or speaking about the bags that I have. Well, not just bags, but the handmade beaded bag collection that I have. It's a very small collection. I've been, I think, collecting beaded handbags for quite some time now, but some of them are actually gifted from family members from Nigeria. So I just really like how creative the beaded handbags are and how colorful they are. It's just really cool to see something that is not just a leather handbag or um, just something different, you know? So. Yeah, I just really like them. They're just really creative, colorful, and just a different type of vibe. Like you don't see a beaded handbag on the street on a day to day. Like it's just not, it's not common like that. So I like how unique they are and hopefully you guys can get your hands on some beaded handbags too. And all of these, I think, yeah, all of these handbags are handmade. So I really like how intricate the, um, beading is and the pattern on some of them as well anyway let me stop rambling and get right into showing you guys the collection that I have all right so I know you guys have seen this on one of my videos and one of my videos or one of my pictures and I really like how mini this bag is and obviously mini handbags are so 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 in right now so I really like the shape as well and it can actually fit a few things inside this was um or this is from nigeria as well and it's just really like cute and intricate you can see all and it, it actually looks like um there's like diamonds but it's actually not diamonds i think it's just painted on um silver so it's just really, really cute. Cute mini handbag. Purple and silver, which is quite a difficult color to match up with certain things. So I tend to match it up with all black or um, a white outfit. If I do want a color block, um, that'll be cute as well with this. So yeah, I just really like this purple one. It's so cute. On to the next bag. So the next one is one that I use often. Like I use this bag in or with some, I wanna say like most of the outfits that I've put out on my Instagram or here on YouTube. Um, but I really, I just love how girly and cute this bag is. It's this pink hand made beaded bag and it looks it has the shape of like a traditional clutch bag but then it also has like a little i don't know it's just so cute it gives me um it's like the i think jacquemus i think it's jacquemus that has a shape like a long clutch shape like this and it's just so 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 cute um, you're gonna be hearing me saying so, 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 so cute in throughout this whole video, but yeah, I really like this. I really like the color as well, and it gives me Barbie vibes. Definitely is giving like Barbie vibes. The only thing is that I would say about this bag is that when you wanna close it up, it is quite, um, it's, it's, a, it's a tussle it's a tussle because you kind of need you need to get it through the hole i don't know if you can see but yeah you need to get it through this hole here but nonetheless it is a cute bag and i've actually worn it out out before so it is definitely still workable <laughs> um you just need to be patient with closing it here and also one thing to note is that it doesn't have um like a, a little 
pouch, I guess, a little pouch inside. So it's literally just the beads that make up the bag. And obviously to get this kind of shape with these beads, I mean, it takes a lot of craftsmanship and a lot of detail. So yeah, I just really appreciate how, how they've really crafted the shape of this bag. Um, but yeah, it's cute. It is cute. And you can see it's like iridescent. Maybe you can't see, I'm not sure. But yeah, I really like the beads. It's not just pink, like a flat pink. It actually kind of glitters. So yeah, that is so, so cute. We have this one that I know you guys are probably tired of me rocking this on the gram, but I just love this bag. It's just so feminine, like, I don't know why I'm holding it up like this <laughs> for you guys, but I just, I really, really like it. I mean, obviously not with this outfit, but I really just like it and how roomy it is as well, because the base is really big, so it fits quite a bit of things which you wouldn't think so from afar. You would think like it's quite small, but it fits quite a lot of things. Um, and I love this like handle. I love this handle bit here. Really like it. And the shape again, it's just so, so, so cool. And this one actually has a pouch sewn into it. So, Obviously, black, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Yeah, uh huh. You know what it is. Everything I do, I do it big. But um, <laughs> but yeah. Shout out to Wiz Khalifa. But yeah, this bag, and the fact that it's yellow and black is like yellow against black is always gonna be a statement. So I really, really like this bag and I love how the beads again like it glitters once the light shines onto it and I like this crisscross pattern I don't know if you can see but even the beads I like how they're starting to not wear out but that's how you know that it's like I just like it, how it looks um what's the word how it looks scratched I don't know if you can see like some of the beads look a bit scratched but I still love it like it's, it's giving vintage it's giving vintage now and I've had this for for some years so it's it's really lasting it's really lasting um, but I really like it at first actually at first I did not like this bag but then I started to rock it and I was like Hmm. I like it, it's really grown on me, so I love this bag. This one, this bag, I actually have not worn yet, um, which is a shame because it's stunning. I haven't worn it because there's nothing for me to wear it with. Actually, there is, there is, there is. But there's nowhere for me to wear it to. So I do really like this bag, this bag and this, if you don't know, um, yes, I am Nigerian. If you couldn't tell by the name Dami or Oluwa Dami Lola, yes, I am Nigerian. And this is um, a traditional bead that we use in Nigeria for like celebratory moments or um, celebrations, so like weddings. This bead is typically commonly used for um, long beads, long necklaces. If I, had, if I have some pictures here, I can show you some examples. But yeah, long beads, specifically for the royals. So like kings, queens, princesses, um, princes. So yeah, especially within the Ibo tribe, this kind of bead is um what is used but yeah this this is this it's really just beautiful i just haven't had the chance to actually um to actually wear it 
wear it out someplace properly. So it's actually starting to come apart there. You need to get that fixed, but yeah, no, it's beautiful. Again, obviously handmade. You can really see that they paid attention to detail. Golden orange. Orange is my favorite color. So the fact that this beaded handbag has not been worn yet is insane it doesn't make sense but hey it needs to be worn with the right outfit so with the right outfit at the right time so yeah um if you got somewhere for me to go and wear this let me know but i really like it i can't believe i haven't like worn it yet but what I would say is that there's a lot of cushioning inside the bag. So there isn't much room for you to put anything in it. Literally, you could probably just fit a foot, two phones in here comfortably. And that's about it. That's the only, I guess with purses and um, clutches, there is never ever like a big clutch when it comes to um, it being a dressy or occasion bag, occasion clutch, whatever you want to call it, purse. Um, so, I mean, the size of it doesn't really, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, like it is just still a really nice bag. Can you believe that this is handmade? So my beaded bag is unfortunately coming to an end but guys this one i actually got it this year and uh if you've watched my guap event vlog then you would have seen this um the guap fashion event then you would have seen this but this beaded bag again orange my favorite color i had to get it in orange i had to shout out to florence for getting me this bag thank you thank you so much um she got it for my birthday as a birthday gift at the event but literally it's it's a side bag and i just really liked it when i first saw it especially the type of bead that it is and this isn't from nigeria this is actually from ghana I just like the shape of it and how sleek and elegant it looks like it's it's really really cool and i like how it's not a handbag necessarily it's but okay wait let me let me find the brand first hold on hands bag hands bag so um it's hands bag on instagram hands.bags on Instagram and yeah handmade in Ghana and in London and yeah you can shop shop hands bags but um, that is the brand and I am still waiting on a pouch to fit in here because the only thing that I wasn't fond of was the fact that it's just really it's just open like there's no kind of security there especially because it's a shoulder bag you kind of want to like obviously your hands are free you're not really caring that much about um you know your bag so it would be good to have a pouch in there um but i really like the beads of this it's just it looks so rich and elegant and the fact that the structure like it looks like a jewelry box it literally looks like a jewelry box it's beautiful and if you do want to hold it in hand you can actually just um, sort of well what I done when I was taking pictures was sort of just wrap it around my hand somehow and just hold it like a jewelry box like that or you can even just put it inside put it inside like that and hold it like this so yeah just really really like it so 
that is my little collection the collection that i'm slowly slowly building um and if you have any one or any brands that do beaded handbags like this let me know because i really am i'm loving the collection that i'm building i will be in touch and i'll be hopefully getting my hands on some more handmade beaded bags but yeah as you can see it is a very small collection and it's growing slowly but i love the variety of color and the, the dedication to detail the craftsmanship like it's just beautiful and amazing to have products from the homeland from nigeria from ghana it's just amazing and that's what i want to support and these are the type of things that i do want to support and continue to show you guys um, because it's not every day it's not every day european american fashion brands sometimes african homeland black owned brands so give me a shout if you know anyone let me know send me their page on instagram and hopefully i will get my hands on some more but yeah thank you guys so much for watching that was my mini handmade beaded handbag collection oh that's kind of like a tongue twister thank you guys for watching hope you have already subscribed if you have not please make sure you do and i will see you hopefully by the grace of god next weekend thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my small but growing channel i really do appreciate you and thank you thank you thank you make sure you share this with a friend with a colleague with a neighbor and it is truly truly appreciated and i'll see you again in my next video bye